What up, what up, everyone out there? I hope everyone having a fabulous Monday morning, May the 2nd, right? 2022. Okay, guys. Um, Spirit showed me through my clairvoyance. I saw a white man and I saw a lady, a white lady. I don't know if she's white or she's Hispanic, Puerto Rican, Caucasian, uh, Arab. I don't know. You never know, right? But I saw it, right? They showed me a man on the phone, right? <laughs> and I saw the lady standing in front of him on the side. I don't know if she was telling him what to say, what to do, but I know she was involved in it. So you might have a lot of scammers calling your phone, okay? People playing on your phone, all right? Cuckoo people, people that's got the narcissistic uh, traits. You understand what I'm saying? Um, I saw that shit, right? So this could be somebody working against you as well. Be very, very careful. This could be a, a tricky undercover cop. Or this can be some people that done hacked into your phone, tapped in, um, just trying to like uh, break into your bank accounts, uh, just in your business being nosy, trying to find out something about you, trying to put something on you. So, um, but I heard the man saying some numbers. He was saying some numbers out of his mouth, but I couldn't complete get it, okay? Because I woke up, when I woke up, that's when my mom started saying something. And then when I woke up, I'm like, Lord have mercy. So this man was saying some numbers out of his mouth. Okay? He was saying some numbers. So protect your social security numbers, okay? Um, yeah, I get a lot of goofy-ass people calling my phone. And the voices sound so familiar, you guys. And you know what? I don't know... Hmm. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. I'm not going to bust nobody out, but they going to know who I'm talking about, and they going to know I'm talking about them. They playing on my motherfucking phone, calling my phone, pretend to be some type of companies, to pretend to be someone else, okay? And I know the voice. They're trying to disguise their voice, but they couldn't disguise their voice that good because I went in it. You understand what I'm saying? So I said to myself, look at this shit. I cannot believe this is such and such playing on my phone. I'm like, whoa. And it's it's more than one person. Okay. Um, I'm not going to say where they work at. I'm not going to say that. I'm just going to keep it to myself. But when I see them, they're going to know. I know. And they might try to dodge me. They might try to like, you know what I'm saying? Not try to run into me, try to hide from me and shit. But y'all, um, yeah, I saw a white man and a lady. She was something. Okay, she wasn't African-American. But I don't know if these people is plotting on me or they could be plotting on you. It can go both ways. But these people, it's like they're trying to find out some information about me or you or who or who whatsoever. Okay, but I'm seeing somebody on the phone and they up to no fucking good. Okay, and they doing sneaky shit to people just like just dirty, low vibration people, person, place, thing. <laughs> But spirit show me, spirit show me, yeah, spirit show me this person, and you know I'm I'm not gonna say anything, but I saw this person face before, okay, and the lady, <laughs> let me just say this. The system is fucking tricky, sneaky. It's a whole lot of narcissistic workers in the workplace. Very toxic people, negative, low vibration workers, judges, doctors, lawyers, teachers, principal, who was so fucking ever. Okay. But spirit showed me this person, 
I don't know if they was working against me, working against you guys. It can go both fucking ways. These was people like could have hacked my phone because I believe my phone is hacked. Um, could have hacked your phone, reading your messages, trying to find out about your business, trying to investigate you, trying to look up, you know, just trying to find out something about you. Or these people is plotting, planning some shit on you. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I mean, the hate, the jealousy, the envy is real, y'all. It's real. I'm telling you. You'll be surprised who'll be smiling in your motherfucking face. You'll be surprised who go back and tell your motherfucking business. You'll be surprised who will make you some business. You know what I mean? By make you some business. They will just tell lies on you just to have something to say or just to have just to get some attention. You know, like attention whore, a narcissistic flying monkey person, very abusive, low vibration person that's not happy with themselves. So they goes back and they spread lies and rumors. They make phone calls. They get other people your phone numbers to call your phone to get on your nerves. It don't get on my nerves. You know what I do? Half of the time, I don't even answer my phone. And if I do, I play with their mind. Still, them trying to fuck with my mind, I'll fuck with theirs. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, um, watch your shit. Watch your, your credit cards, your social security numbers, your child. I don't know. You can't trust nobody, man. You can't trust no one. I'm going to keep it fucking real with you. I don't give a fuck what nobody said or who whatsoever. But I have a reason to say this and to feel this way because, hey, when you've been backstabbed and betrayed, lied on, and I'm not going to play the victim role. I'm never going to be a victim, okay? For anything, I'm a motherfucking winner, okay? I'm a motherfucking winner. You understand what I'm saying? For anything, I would never want to be a victim, Okay? Never, even though you've been probably victimized or uh, lied on, betrayed, backstabbed, misused, mistreated. But don't, uh uh. Motherfuckers want you to be a victim. Motherfuckers want you to feel like that. They want you to feel, you know, low about yourself because that's how they feel. But motherfuckers is stupid. Motherfuckers are dumb, fucked up, crazy, sick. Some motherfuckers trying to play crazy. All right, you know, you can get fucked up too. I don't give a fuck if you is crazy or you drunk or alcoholic or whatever the fuck you is or a, a troublemaker or a just whatever the fuck you are. You you know, you can get fucked up fucking with people. Straight up. I mean, I'm telling you. Seriously, you can get fucked up fucking with people. I'm telling you, you'll be surprised who will fuck you up. So, um, just be careful. I, <laughs> It's crazy. Um, I saw I saw a child. Something about a house, something about an apartment, and a child. Um, I don't know. It's just, it's just something weird, y'all. Y'all just be careful, okay? Um. Talk to your kids, you know, make sure your child, whoever, whatsoever, ain't being mistreated by people. Because, you know, when when you got people that don't like you, they don't like your child. You better believe that motherfucking shit. When a motherfucker don't... Now, I'm the type of person, if I don't like you, you have to give me a reason to not to like you. And if I don't, I'm not going to mistreat that child. I'm not going to misuse nobody's child because it's not that child fault that you're fucked up, that the parent is fucked up. So I know some people would do that. I know it. I seen it. But I will fuck me a motherfucker up over minds. Okay? I will bury your ass alive. I'm telling you. But, you know, you got some people, grown-ups, they don't like you. They jealous of you, intimidated by you. They don't like your child. 
And I'm like, your child? That's why I talk to mine. I talk to my child. I let her know everything. I don't sugarcoat or beat around the bush about shit. My child's a teenager now. I've been talking to her from day one. So, you know, sometimes she get tired of me. Say, Mama, I know. Before I even open my mouth, Mama, I know. I'm like, girl, don't play with me. <laughs> you know what I'm about to say, right? Okay? Don't take no bullshit off of nobody. You better defend your motherfucking self. I don't give a fuck who it is. You know, you better psh, close mouth and get fed to her, goddamn it. You better open your motherfucking mouth. If you feel like somebody's mistreating you, doing you wrong, treating you unfair, you better say something. That don't mean you weak. That don't mean you mad or sad. No, that means you standing up for your motherfucking self. You protecting yourself. You know, you understand what I'm saying? So teach your kids how to defend themselves. Talk to your kids. Because I talk to mine. And to me, it, it seems like I have to keep saying it over. Because, you know, you never know. They're a child. They're teenagers. They mind goes and comes. They minds is not like ours. You know, they too busy. want to have fun. Talk to their friends on the phone and stuff like that. Go out with their little friends down. Hang out. But you got to teach your child how to defend themselves, how to protect themselves. Because I'm telling you, you got to let them know how people can be, how they can smile, and all that shit. And then the devil is a motherfucking lie. But all right, guys. I just wanted to um, say this to you guys. I got to uh, take care of some business. But, um, yeah. So, just be very careful who you answer the phone to, who you give your information out to. Um, shit like that. Just be very, and know who your, who your friends are, who your surroundings, who you, who you socialize with. If they're not your friends, just socialize or something like that. Just make, just, you know, you can tell when a person is, it's no good. Just feed, just look into it. Read their minds, their body, their lang body language. You know, um, and you can tell who's right and who's wrong. You can tell when the motherfucker ain't no good. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to let this go. Everyone stay positive, blessed, and prayed up and keep you guys all the way up. Smoke your socks.